Hey guys, uh, I'm Mason Moore from Stockroom Supply. Um, got some really exciting news. Now, a lot, a lot of you guys have been waiting anxiously for this. Um, but, Wrecker Power has just released their new upgraded tailstock for the Coronet Herald. Now, if you guys watched my video on my lathe comparison video comparing the MIDI lathes, the Rycom was included, the Wrecker Power, and also the Laguna, you know that the Wrecker Power was the lowest scoring tail stock there was. Now, let me show you what they've done to really add a lot of, well, they upgraded it pretty significantly. So the first thing that you'll make notice is it looks ever so slightly different. Um, the casting is definitely heavier duty on this guy right here. If you look right at this edge right here, you notice they've added a lot of material. That adds a lot of strength compared to the original design. And just in general, more cast iron there um the other really big thing if you look at the back of the hand wheel here you'll notice that thread in comparison to the old design is all integrated so you guys already have these that thread moves back and forth and gets shorter and longer this one here integrated and you're not going to wrap your knuckles on it which is really really nice the other thing that's kind of cool a little bit hard to notice but if you were to loosen this one on the original tailstock too much, what will happen is that barrel will then be free to move like that. Um, so you'd have to go and try to realign everything here. What they have now for the lock is a cam lock design right here, totally independent of the barrel. So if I loosen this too far, it doesn't make any difference. Um, that's still going to move. It's not going to twist. And then on this side right here, probably hard to see, but there's an Allen key that keeps that totally straight. And the one feature that you guys have all been hoping for and wanting is this. So if I back this up, that live center self ejects, which is a really, really handy feature. Um, makes it a much easier to put that uh, those centers in and out there where the original tail stock did not have that where it'll just back up like that so still a morse taper two everything else is the same still two and a half inches of capacity um, but has a lot of really important improvements so now let's get rid of this guy here the best what I rated as the best tail stock of those three machines um, was the Rikon here. So that's the Rikon right here. I really liked um, everything's integrated on the inside. The barrel's locked in without um, having to worry about it being locked or loosening that too far. Um, and it has three and a half inches of capacity here. Um, and then it's got the standard lock right there at the back. Now, if I was to recompare these, um, record has done everything right um the only thing that the record doesn't have that the rikon does is it has two and a half inches of capacity where the rikon has three and a half inches now one thing that is really cool about the record that any of the other ladies didn't have the diameter of the wheel on the back you can see how small the diameter is on the rikon um, compared to the record quite a bit larger um, that means when you're drilling something you have a lot more torque um, a lot more comfortable when you're hogging out with a big portion of it or something like that so I think that's a really cool plus on this tail stock as well so if I were to re-rate it it doesn't have the extra inch that the Rikon does but it does have the extra large um, hand wheel at the back here I think I would get this one a five as well as the Rikon. I think they're about the same now as far as how well they're designed. That's just, again, my opinion. So, yeah, um, every new Herald that's sold in North America is going to have the upgraded tail stock now, which is a really, really big thing, I think. So, anyone else have any questions, you can let me know. My email is info at stockhomesupply.com. Or you can just comment on the video. Now, if you want to see future videos, make sure you subscribe and hit the little bell button on the bottom. Thank you much.